Yo, what up, my friends, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. How you doing? <laughs> hey there, minion. Good to see you. Dax, good to see you. <laughs> that guy's grip about flipping nuggets time. I don't, I don't quite know what to make of that, but yeah, sure. Otter, Cypress, hey yo, flash those taters. Rosemary, I'm doing very well. Thank you for asking. Cassie, hello. I'm glad you can make it out for at least a little bit before you go to your mandatory work lunch. Monsignor Boozbag. The name of the game I am playing is Civilization VI. <laughs> yes, someone beat you to it, or beat me to it. Yo, what up, Jenia? Wild Nick appears. Am I really wild if you expect to see me here, though? I'm kind of a tamed Nick, aren't I? JVP Duarte, hello, hello. Ilk Malty, good to see you. I'm gonna move this a little bit because I can't quite read y'all. There we go. You go, we go. Yo, what up, Jess? Hello. Creeper Cats is here, very good. We can carry on with the proceedings. I was worried for a moment that Creeper Cats was not here. We would have to wait. Ectoraptor, what's up? Well, uh, I'm gonna play some Civ. That's what's up, hopefully. If everything's working properly this time. <laughs> oh, you're actually eating chicken nuggets. Okay, I thought you were trying to tell me it was about time we got rolling. Like, some euphemism somehow. But no, you're straight up eating chicken nuggets. That's okay. Monsieur Boozbag, oh, Monsieur, Monsieur Boozbag, you are, oh, hey, you're St. Shamrock, is that right? Is that what I'm getting here? Am I picking up what you're putting down? Sparks, hello, son, it's good to see you. I'm glad you're here. Are you a part of our rad Discord? If not, click that link that Dex just dropped in chat. Darth Son, it's good to see you. Jaco Falco, hello, 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 hello. Chicken. Will Civ play nice tonight, Ember Birdie? That is a great question. Uh, that is one that we're going to answer here shortly. Hopefully that's not too in your way. I'm having trouble with like positioning this thing tonight. I don't know why. Yo, thank you for the follow, Eel Bruno DH. I'm going to just change this, make this a little bigger here. A little bigger. There we go. I can see myself better and everyone knows that's the important part. My shining face. BVB Tall Morty, you love Civ? Me too. Latchkin, you finally made it to a live stream. Well, welcome to this live stream. Everybody give Latchkin a warm welcome, please. Also, I saw you there, Erica. How you doing, Erica? Well, I hope. <laughs> hey, we back with the flashy boy Canadians. Are they flashy? Oh, I see, the interface. Well, hopefully not Flashy Boy Canadians. So here's my plan, guys. How are we supposed to win by being pacifist? I'm glad you asked, Avocado, because that leads right into what I was about to say. So, last time we started playing this game, uh, and there were all kinds of issues with the interface being way flickery. Watermelon Girl, Jenia, thank you for the resubscription. Eight months. Oh my gosh. Almost forgot, hashtag where's Reggie. <laughs> Reggie is, I don't think we can have a man myth in Civ. I mean, you can mod Civ, I guess, in theory. In theory, we could uh, maybe mod a man myth into it. But thank you for the sub, Jenny. <laughs> Ember Birdie and Ilk Multi know where it's at. They got those taters out. Hey, Tall Morty does too. Please, flash those taters. Like you mean it. Jess, Discord Nitro has Civ 4, and basically you've wasted so much time of your life on that game. I played a lot of Civ 4 back in the day, and a lot of Civ 5. Civ 6, less, but still quite a uh, fan. Oh, I should close my, uh, hold on a second here. You guys don't need all those Steam pop-ups here. Let me just, uh, let me just... Offline. Go away, friends. I don't need you. <laughs> um, too much mashed taters for dinner. Oh, fair enough, I guess. 
Thank you for the follow, Jambi77. So what I was trying to explain was that... Uh, yeah, we started playing as Canada last time. We had some technical difficulties. This time, I'm going to start a new game. That's my plan, because we didn't really get that far last time, so I don't think that's going to be a huge loss. Um, but I would like to try a pacifism run. I don't really know what that's going to look like, but there are multiple roads to victory in Civ, right? You can have a cultural victory, diplomatic victory, science victory. Military victory is only one of the options. So in theory, if we want to be uh, true to... Uh, my Canadian heritage. <laughs> Yo, Jess, thank you. Ah, oh, you guys, you got paid, so yay for stream day. <laughs> thank you for the bits, Jess. I appreciate it. Also, right at exactly the same time, that's why I paused there for just a second, <laughs> D2 dropped a bunch of subs. <laughs> so thank you, Jess, and thank you, D2. Welcome to Elachkin. Oh, and Darth Son, of course been around. Nightbot, hey, Clay's got a sub. Ectoraptor, Blade, oh my god, what, what's going on? <laughs> There's too many subscriptions appearing. I can't keep up with it. Blade Runner, Blade Runner Zero, oh, I say Blade, Blade Runner, I'm gonna go, that's what it's supposed to be. <laughs> Thank you to D2 for gifting uh, subs to all of those guys. And then Cypress just swooped in and dropped another five subs. Megern, Jambi77, Jaco Falco, Kezu Cute, and Eel Brunnode. <laughs> Welcome to the Spud Buds, all of you. If you are new to the Spud Buds, the sub club, uh, please, please use your taters wisely, by which I mean spam them with wild abandon. Enjoy your fancy new sub badge, the wonderful Third Era Colovian for Helmat. Uh, and so those of you returning to the sub club, uh, welcome back. Who we got here? Clay just hit five months. Megurn hit six months. Megurn, you get your very own Inigo sub badge. That's exciting. <laughs> D2 and Cyprus are conductors on the sub train tonight. Oh, good Blade Runner. I'm glad that I got your name right. Every time I say it, I'm gonna have to, I gotta do the face, right? You guys, are, you guys are wonderful. Thank you all. Thank you for the love. Thank you for your generosity. Please thank your conductors on the sub train and flash your taters. It is your sub given right to flash your taters. <laughs> Beautiful people. I agree. Clay, I saw last week, I didn't reply to it because I saw it a little bit late, but I saw that you dropped a tater tank. <laughs> image in uh in the discord <laughs> i feel like we we have more uh emotes now uh i'm not sure we might be up to two or even three now they're rolling out more emotes to twitch partners or twitch affiliates basically based on the number of subscribers uh that we have so i think we're gonna get like five by the time they rolled them all out so we have these slots i need to make some new emotes for you do you guys want a tater tank emote? <laughs> or do you want a Reggie emote? We've talked about this a couple times, but I really think a tater tank would be fun. Hey, and Creeper Cats says sub with Prime too. Thank you, Creeper Cats. And guys, guys, Erica, thank you. Erica has gifted a subscription to that guy script for two months of subscription. Thank you, Creeper Cats. Thank you, Erica. Welcome back to the club, that guy script. Cassie will leave if we get a Reggie. <laughs> Creeper Cats wants Reggie. Oh, Cabbage? Yeah, we want HD Cabbage? Yeah? Tater Tank is great. I think we can all agree on a Tater Tank. Yeah, there probably should be a chair emote. Or will you guys revolt if this is a chair emote? Because it's evil chair now, apparently. It's a chair. Good chair. It's okay. It's okay. They don't mean it. They don't mean it. They're just misunderstood. He's just misunderstood. You just misunderstanding. <laughs> I saw somebody say something, what? I don't know. Tater Tank for the huge amount of gifted subs. Okay, Amber Birdie wants Tater Tank. D2 does not want Reggie. <laughs> uh, depends on the chair, says Jenya. Hmm, alright. 
A Girthtrude emote. Yeah, maybe we really should get a Girthtrude emote. That would be like classic. That would be classic. <laughs> Otter Nerd wants an Otter emote. That seems a little bit self serving, Otter Nerd. <laughs> I'm just saying. Hey, and Awesome Puppy 16 has been gifted a subscription courtesy of the wonderful Erica. Thank you, Erica. Welcome, Awesome Puppy. Everyone loves Awesome Puppies. We are very happy to have you here. <laughs> Dex is right, we need a Girthtrude. Awesome puppy, you've been gifted a subscription. What do you mean, WTF? Welcome to the sub club. You can now spam HD taters to your delight. To your heart's content. Stevo2022 saw my video and came over to check it out live. Love my videos. Awesome. Thank you, Stevo, and welcome to the live proceedings. This live studio recording with a live studio audience <laughs> of... Nick tries to play Civ 6. Cyprus, a little late for you and you have to sleep. I feel like shifting it to 7.30 just pushed it just outside of some people's uh, ability to stick around for, and I, I that sucks. <laughs> I'm sorry you can't stick around. But the real answer is there's no perfect time to stream, unfortunately. But have a good night, Cyprus. Thank you so much for coming out. Thank you for your generous gift subscriptions tonight. And I hope we see you out next week. Maybe you can stick around next week. Clay says, Maybe I should explain the lore behind Girthtrude for those who are new and unenlightened. I feel like if we were going to run it as an emote, I would have to do that. I think if I do that right now, it's going to take too long. Because <laughs> there's quite the story. Let's just say she's a beautiful matronly mouse. She's like your grandmother, but in mouse form. Definitely nothing lewd about her origin story, in the least. Girthtrude is pure. Girthtrude is beautiful. That's what I'm going to say. <laughs> Tall Morty, if you are going with Canada Passive, cultural victory would be the best. Probably. Now, the challenge with that is I have no freaking clue how to attain a cultural victory uh, in this version of Civ. I don't think I've ever won a cultural victory in even base Civ 6, but as I was explaining last time, I have not really played any of the Rise and Fall expansion or the Gathering Storm. Very little of either. Uh, and I know they overhaul all kinds of like, culture and tourism stuff, I think, so it's going to be a learning experience for me. Girthtrude Story Night. Yeah, we could maybe we should just have a story night, a channel lore night. Hey, D2 has gifted Avocado342, the 342nd Avocado. None of those other Avocados even match up. Only the 342nd will do. Welcome to the sub club, Avocado342. I hope you enjoy your stay. It's a special place here. You get access to potatoes. You get a cool hat. But more importantly, you make friends. You make family here. <laughs> And D2, thank you for your generosity tonight. Canada has culture victory based benefits. Okay, perfect. That's what we'll do then. Y'all can help me along. Cassie, if you ever stop pinching pennies and get a new computer, you might work on a few more Girthtrude mods. A few more? Are you implying that you have worked on a Girthtrude mod before? Because the only one that I know of was made by an anonymous author. So. That would be cool, Cassie. <laughs> yes, you don't know how to do anything in Civ. You just click things and hope for the best. Yeah, fair enough. Yo, Garrett, are there plans for a Minecraft stream anytime? It's the weekly Minecraft check-in. Um, no, I hadn't really planned anytime soon, but um, but now that you've reminded me, I was actually thinking about it earlier today. You know, I was thinking about it. I was thinking about those weekly uh, or monthly, perhaps, game nights that we had talked about like it would be cool to have say one night a month where everyone can get together and play minecraft together on the server um and if that's the case uh you know i would have to delegate the task of like organizing that to somebody uh on the server a moderator perhaps but i'd be more than happy to promote that stuff and uh, stream it and show up of course for the game nights um maybe stream the first one the inaugural monthly Minecraft game night or something like that. Um, but we should talk about that some more, moderators. 
because that would be cool. Um, channel lore knight requires foot lore. Just saying, Jess, if we have channel lore knight, I'll put you in charge of foot lore. How about that? <laughs> I'll, we'll invite in special guest Softly Galoshes, and she can explain. You can interview her about the foot lore. <laughs> oh, boy. What are we drinking tonight? No, we're drinking... Okay, so I have two things, actually. Hmm. I should check... Uh, uh, rats. Okay. So I opened up my fridge today to pull out tonight's beer. And I have a few options in the fridge, or had a few options in the fridge. There were two that I had in mind. But then I saw, sitting there, a beer that uh, is not actually mine, was brought by my brother. Uh, because we play D&D &D here once every week or two. And he brought some beer over. <laughs> and he brought this one. And normally I wouldn't touch the D&D &D beer you know, because that's that's for the boys on D&D &D night, right? But uh, here I have such a perfect beer that I really feel that it has to be consumed tonight. So I texted my brother to see if he was okay if I drank this one tonight. I haven't heard back from him, so I think I'm just going to do it. You know why? Because, check it out. Hey, it's the IPA. IPA. <laughs> IPA, eh? Uh, it is a Canadian-looking <laughs> IPA, and uh, that would be really appropriate for tonight's stream since we're we play in Canada. So, Emonchuki, no worries, you're late. Welcome, glad to have you here. Did I see the Driftwood Limited Edition that just came out? No, what's the limited edition they just put out? I had a new one uh, from them, but I don't think it's a limited edition. What was it that I had? It was a. Oh, it was the one I had last week. Yeah, it was that uh, stout. <laughs> My lord, that's majestic. It is pretty majestic, isn't it? So I think we're going to drink this. Apologies to the Dice Boys. <laughs> and y'all are watching right now. Uh, I'll get another one for us to have uh, next game night. All right. <sighs> Chat's just flying by as usual. Okay, so I think we're going to do this here. Uh, sorry once again to my brother and co. <laughs> but uh, that's how it's going to be. It's just too perfect. So, oh, hey, one other thing before we get rolling here is that uh, I'm trying out a slightly different encoder mode and streaming mode. It is the low latency mode for both my video encoder and on Twitch. Uh, let me know if it seems like things are a little more responsive. Maybe there'll be less lag, uh, but it could also impact video quality. We might see some more dropped frames and stuff, so just keep an eye out for that. Let me know if we're seeing any chunkiness, weird drop frames or anything, uh, but hopefully it makes everything feel a little more responsive. Etienne Duff, I should have Quebec brews. I like it. I have had many brews from Quebec, although I don't know if you're talking about a specific one. That's a big bottle. It's not that big. It's This is a bomber. So this is a, basically two normal beers, essentially. Clay. Everything about streaming D&D &D critical role style. I thought about it. Now, I don't DM. I have in past, but uh, I'm not currently. Um, so it would be a thing where we would need to find a DM. I don't know who I'll be playing with us. I don't know what would be going on, but I've always thought it would be cool to have some D&D content on the channel. A community night or something like that. Oh, I'm on Juki. Yeah, I've had the Sun of the Morning. First of all, that bottle, amazing. It looks like straight up like early 90s death metal album cover. Um, I've had it and it was good. It's a little sweet for me, I found. A little boozy, but uh, I do love the design of that bottle. Yeah, that stuff's super cool. Otter Nerds, plus one for the D&D stream. All right. D&D <laughs> lore night? Hmm. Not a bad idea. Give me some good Canadian grog. Jess knows about 2% of anything about D&D. &D. Well, that's okay. There's a lot to know. You don't have to just kind of... People will help you out if you've never played before. It is a lot of fun if you've never played a pen and paper role-playing game before. If you have a good group, 
It's an experience unlike any other. <laughs> okay, let's get playing a video game here. We're at our half hour time, it's about time. So we're actually gonna create a new game here. Uh, we are gonna play with the latest expansion rules. We're gonna play as Canada, as we know. Wilfred Norier of Canada. Uh, as I explained, I'm gonna start a new game because we're gonna shoot for that pacifism victory here. Um, we could speed it up a little bit, you know, why don't we do that? So we progress through things a little faster, move through the game a little faster, you know? Uh, I like the continent's map type. We will do a small map. We will keep disaster intensity at default. Um, so, uh, we talked about this last time I tried to stream this game, but Civ 6 uh, has had a couple of expansions. I've not really played either of them, so I do have the tutorial mode on for the expansion content. So we're going to get interrupted every once in a while about tutorials, teaching me how to play stuff, but it's probably for the best. Uh, Canada has some really fun bonuses, but it's basically all about Tundra, the great boreal Canadian empire. <laughs> so, Clay, you'd like to learn how to DM. Sounds like a lot of fun. Your brain's able to create some interesting stories. Yeah. Um, GMing is a lot of fun, uh, but it's also kind of stressful. <laughs> uh, it gets less stressful the more you do it, but I've not done it a whole lot, so. Etienne if you suggest I try Ta Meilleur by Lagabier Brewery. Should be able to find it in Vancouver. Mm. I've never seen it around here. I'm in Victoria. <clears throat> Pardon me. Um, but I'll keep an eye out for it. Never heard of it before. Remember Sarah? I remember Sarah. She's hanging out over there in the bedroom. I know you're not talking to me. Alright, let's go. Let's start this game up. And let's hope, fingers crossed, let's hope we don't run into the same technical difficulties we did last time. We get to listen to the you have come far. beautiful, and resonant quest. tones of Sean Bean. Of the stars. <laughs> Dara, yes, I remember Dara as well. I blame Drake for that. I haven't seen Drake tonight. Are you around? Are you there, Drake? Are you here? Jet 7. Currently mid Civ 6 game. Nice. Great minds think alike. Clay, if I want to know who Sarah know what Sarah is, check the Dream Journal chat in your server. That sounds like a that sounds like a commitment, is what that sounds like. Alright, um I'm gonna pop open my beer here. So oh yeah, I haven't really showed it off. But let's we'll hit begin game here. All right, here we are. Uh, so the beer that we're drinking tonight is the IPA um, from Russell Brewing, uh, which is a Vancouver-based brewery, and it is a 6.5% ABV, 53 IBUs, so not super bitter. Uh, small batch, blah blah blah. Does it describe anything else about it? It does. Okay, let me read. Let me read you the beer lore. Russell IPA, quirky name, serious taste. It is the 2012 World Beer Cup Silver Medal winner, huh. and the 2014 Canadian Brewing Awards Bronze Medal winner. Huh. I had no idea. This classic English style IPA is well balanced with exceptional drinkability generously hopped with Pacific Northwest Cascade and Will Willamette, Willamette, Willamette hops and finished with a dry hopping of Cascade flowers. Caramel and toffee notes from specialty English malts anchor the bitterness and deliver a well-balanced finish. 
Russell IPA is part of the Russell Brewmaster series, which is a succession of small batch beers crafted for an unconventional beer drinker. All right. Cool. Sounds good to me. Just, yeah, no. If, it, if the interface is flickering, please let me know, guys. We will abandon ship for a different game. I promise. Drake is tweeting you, but you haven't seen him on Twitch yet. Come on, Drake, where are you at, boy? <laughs> no, that's fine. People have lives, I understand. All right. Tall Morty, oh gross, this is a garbage start. Very little production. Yeah, that's very true, isn't it? <laughs> There's like no hills around here um but whatever we'll roll with it we'll make it happen i'm sure we'll make it up some other way i like these olives right near the tundra we've got some gypsum here some stone we'll see how it goes at least the tundra is not a complete loss for canada exactly Jet7 says, sounds more like an amber ale than an IPA. Usually those are a multi-hoppy combination. Yeah, well, we'll see. We'll see how the hops comes out. We'll see how it comes out. Mm, modestly hoppy on the nose. Canada's Tundra bonus is weak, though. It doesn't make up for how bad Tundra is. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I can't remember what difficulty I set this to, but I assume we're on Prince. That's where I usually leave it. There we go. Yo, what up, Toothsayer? How you doing? Hey, Dex. <laughs> seven month three sub. Hi, chat. How you doing, Dex? Thank you for resubscribing for seven months. You are up near the front of the Vanguard. Much appreciated. It is not skunky, no. Monsignor Boozbag. There's no skunkiness to it. If anything, it is a sort of balanced hop aroma. Fairly lush hop aroma. Beautiful color. Again, it shows darker on the camera, but uh, I can see that it's a little bit murky uh, and kind of a deep copper almost. Uh, and it's got this nice rocky head with kind of a mixture of uh, large and small bubbles there. It smells good. Let's try it out. Mmm. Wow, that's got a lot of flavor. That's very nicely balanced. That's really good. And the bitterness doesn't linger on the tongue. You get that hot flavor up front, and then it's basically gone. The bitterness, that is. But it's got a very full flavor profile. I like that a lot. That's really good. Sorry, Dice Boys. You don't get to try it. <laughs> yeah, it does have a, almost an ambery color to it, amber ale color to it, doesn't it? Okay, I've got some suggestions here. It could be worthwhile to move north a little, maybe between that wheat and the stone on the river. Thinking about right up here, closer to the hills. Yeah, I could see that. Oops. A minion's giving me some suggestions too. That would be two wasted turns without a city. True, and that's pretty tough. Worth it in the long run, you think? All right, let's try it out. Let's try it out. Must be the camera, but that pint glass looks huge. It's big. I don't know how many ounces, but here, to scale, next to my head. It could just be the fish eye on the camera. Oops. Let's do it. Let's take the risk. Let's move. Let's boogie groove. And we'll move up there to uh, explore, push our horizons as we go. All right, here we go. Oh, actually, it'll have to be next turn. Of course. Sorry, I, I'm seeing some root beer facts here. I need to know. Yo, Clay, 
You learned recently that outside the U.S., the general consensus is that people find root beer can be disgusting. What are my opinions? Uh, I love root beer. Root beer's great. I know that in Europe it's not very popular, but here in Canada, we like root beer, so... Scout with the warrior to the north. Yes, that is a great piece of advice, too. Team root beer. Nice. Uh, root beer is real good. Is this the game with Sean Bean or the game before it? <laughs> Albin P12. This is the game with Sean Bean. This is the game with Sean Bean. All right. Let's, uh, yeah, let's poke north a little here, Sue. Hmm. Not a whole lot to be seen over there. Oh, we've got some, some rice up here. Yeah, this looks like a pretty sweet spot, I think. Because we've got some hills, a little extra production, lots of food from the wheat and the rice. I think we'll go. We'll do that. Let's do it. That's right, Megurn. A lot of European medicine is flavored like root beer. It's wintergreen, I think. Root beer has a wintergreen flavor, at least in part. You know what I noticed the other day? I gotta say, guys, I don't know if this is the case for you or, you know, whatever you've got, but our toilet bowl cleaner here, it kind of smells like wintergreen and it kind of smells like root beer. So now I'm starting to make this weird association between toilet bowl cleaner and root beer after I noticed this. I hope I don't ruin root beer for anyone with this revelation, but... Uh, all right, let's build the city. The great Canadian city of Ottawa. It's time. Beauty. Now we get some jaunty music. <laughs> Who's fighting right now? What are we fighting over? Yeah, that's a good spot, and you can still reach Tundra later for hockey rinks. Yeah, gotta get those hockey rinks. Uh-oh, Clay and Jess are fighting. No fighting in the chat, guys. No fighting in my chat. You know the rules. Ah, check it out. Let's zoom in a little tighter here. No reason to be so zoomed out early on in the game. All right. Let's pick some research. What have we got here? We've got wheat and rice. I think we want to take pottery, you know, so we can take advantage of that stuff. That's my take on it anyway. That's what I'm going to do. Toilet bowl cleaner and root beer is a perfect comparison. <laughs> hmm. I, I'm not coming out against root beer. Like, I like root beer. It's just something I noticed. Or like how Pledge smells like lemon, so sometimes after cleaning a lot at work, you can't drink lemonade. <laughs> Saranac Lake root beer is top notch. I've never had it. Uh, let's build a scout. I like building a scout off the bat. Get some exploration on. How's the interface been? Is it flickering? Let's grab this here. Has what did we get? Something historic, worthy of being celebrated and remembered for generations to come. These accomplishments okay, so this is reach a golden age and avoid a dark age. Okay, so this is something that was added in the first expansion, I think, Rise and Fall. There's a concept of golden ages and dark ages. Well, there were golden ages before, I think, but dark ages, um, which is sort of, yeah, these periodic accomplishments uh, throughout your civilization's history that dictate how things are going to be in your next age. Each of these historic moments will increase our era score. Our era score determines which age we'll earn, we will earn in the next game era. So we should seek out these historic moments when possible. Okay, good. Ah, uh, our knowledge of the wheel has been boosted by those villagers. That's cool. No flickering so far. Excellent. Excellent. Ottawa's kind of boring, though. No diss. <laughs> I've been to Ottawa. It's all right. I've never had birch beer, Otter Nerd. Never have I tried it. Not once. What does it taste like? Yo, what up, Indy? Good to see you. You are pro root beer. Good call. Good call. All right, let's just keep poking around up here. We've got a great desert up here. 
Where is that? Oh, right over here. Excellent. Let's go for it. We'll loop around for it in a second. Oh, what river is this? Does we no we don't Oh it's the it's the Fraser. Hey, how Canadian. It's like they do that on purpose or something. Wait, what? You guys are gonna do minions makeup? Sorry what? Have I ever had a sour at Jet 7? Absolutely. Yeah, I've had sours. I'm on the record as saying that uh I wasn't necessarily a big fan of sours initially, but oh, nice, we just got a builder. That's awesome. Um okay, well let's uh let's put our builder to work. Now, here's a question. If we build a farm on this tile, which has a wheat resource, before we've learned pottery, what happens? I don't know how that works. We'll find out. Uh do we start getting the benefit of the wheat after? I guess so. Farming resources given you an appreciation of the importance of irrigating crops. Yeah, you think? Um, anyway, sorry, Jet7, to finish what I was saying. Yes, sours. I do like sours these days, although some of them can be a little, a little too funky for me. But... <laughs> Toothsayer with the highbrow comment, 69 people in chat. Nice. <laughs> Birch beer tastes like trees. Okay, now I've never tried birch beer. Where does one get birch beer? D2, you're going to Hawaii. You and Jess, y'all gonna go down there, visit with Minion, do his makeup? I like it. I like it. That actually sounds amazing. All right. This music really reminds you of the music played at the castle in Fallout 4. It's kind of folky. Yeah. I think it's supposed to be like East Coast Canadian music. That's my... Oh, we've got... Uh, we've got our first barbarian here. But we are going to be pacifists. So we're not going to attack them. We're just going to sail right on by. See ya, buddy. All right, we've got a scout. Let's scout. Since our warrior's going kind of north and wrapping around to the east, let's head to the west. Straight out. Oh, we've got an ocean out here. Sours, yeah, sours can be good summer beers for sure. I have had one barley wine ever. Uh, they are, yeah, they can be a little too much for sure. A little extra, if you will. Okay, so yeah, we're just not getting the bonus resource of wheat yet, but we will very soon. Let's uh, do another one of these. We're going to be so fed, so well fed. All are invited to go to Hawaii and do Minions Makeup. I kind of want to go. I mean, I always want to go to Hawaii. It's a beautiful country or beautiful state, <laughs> excuse me. But uh, it's a beautiful place. Sometimes I feel like Hawaii should be its own country. It's just so far removed and has its own, like really has its own feel. I'm not trying to be contentious with that statement, by the way. That's not a political statement. That's just... It feels very different. Oh, yeah, sure. Let's build a monument. If we're going for a culture victory, I probably should have done that first, actually. But anyway... I thought Clay must feel happy in the good potter's hand. Clay, do you feel happy in the good potter's hand? <laughs> Tell me. Sean Bean thinks you must. Or no, sorry, Janet Fitch thinks you must. Uh, birch beer tastes like artificial root beer. It has that root beer sarsaparilla style flavor, but is natural and clear. Oh, that's weird. Huh. Never heard of it before. I'm going to have to keep an eye out for birch beer. A root beer fountain. Is that the fountain of youth? Root beer forever. <laughs> Clay is definitely into that potter's hands. <laughs> Tall Morty says, Scout's always a good first option unless you're on small islands. Okay, good. I'm doing a good, guys. All right, so we've cruised right past this barbarian, and we're just going to keep going. We're just going to keep cruising. Let's follow the St. Lawrence. 
Okay. Um, I feel like we've got a lot of food production going on here. How do I turn on yield tiles again? That's the thing. Yield icons. There we go. Um, we could probably stand to get some more production. So maybe we want to send our duder over here and uh, build a mine over here or quarry. I guess it is. Do quarries provide production or do they just give me more or do they give me stone? I don't know. Whatever. That's what we're going to do. Oh, we don't have mining research yet, though. We can't. Curses. Okay, well, maybe we'll send this guy up to just farm the rice and we'll just have all the food. We'll have to build another builder. What's going on in chat? Spruce tree and a glass. What is that? I've never had a... That's not true. I have had a spruce beer before, actually. It didn't taste that resinous to me. I think I might have had it here on stream, actually. It was a little bit, but not too bad. Minion says, most games you just try to keep enough of an army to try and keep people away and aim for a science victory. That's probably what we're going to do here. Except cultural, maybe. Victory instead of science. Okay, let's go for that mining. Uh, so we can get some production going on here. Yeah, sure. It's a very jaunty folk version of the Canadian anthem. Oh, Canada. <laughs> Be both strong and free and all that. Jet 7, your brewery makes a beer that you dry hop with spruce tips. Always gives you a nasty headache in the morning. That doesn't sound so good. Mm. Science is really important for any game. That's true. You gotta keep that technological edge. You ain't wrong. Alright, so it looks like we've hit the kind of edge of this continent here. Yeah. And this is all tundra down here, which I'm not going to worry about now because no one's going to be down there, really. So we'll head back up this way. Okay, uh, we can't do anything on this tile yet because I'm a dum-dum. So let's head on up here and let's farm this rice. How about that? Uh, I think we're going to sort of loop around here, but let, let's do that because... Uh-oh, uh barbarians. Uh-oh. So here's a question, guys. If I'm playing as a pacifist, does that mean I can't go clear out barbarian settlements? Like encampments? Because, man, this is going to be tough. They're just going to be throwing everything at me. You guys, you guys get to decide how pacifist we're going to be. Initially, in my head, I was thinking we wouldn't. We would not go even after barbarians. Cassie says, speaking of spruce trees, evergreen trees, when you use branches, bark, and especially pine cones as fuel for your grill fire and grill meat over it, gives the meat an amazing flavor. Hmm. I've never tried that before, but that's a cool idea. Hmm. I like some good grilling. Maybe next time I grill out, as the Americans say, I will, uh, I will attempt to do it with some coniferous wood in there. We have lots of that around here. Pork comes out nice. Oh yeah, I bet. I bet. You think barbarians are okay, Tall Morty? You think we can beat up on barbarians? Anybody else? Anybody else have any thoughts on the matter? Ah, we've boosted craftsmanship civic or whatever the heck it is. They're not called civics, are they? I don't remember. All right, let's head back up this way. Cedar is a softwood, yeah. Hey, Drake, welcome. What an entry. Nuke the world? Nuke the world, no. We are absolutely not nuking the world here. We are Canadian, we are polite, we are kind and friendly. We will be your friends, whether you want us to be or not. <laughs> We get along with everybody. No nuclear weapons. I mean, unless someone drops nukes on us, I guess. Dex, what's the craziest thing that's happened to me in a Civ game? Oh, that's a tough question because I've played a lot of Civ over the years. And I'm trying to think of any specific moments that stand out. I'm sure I've had them, but none of them are coming to mind. I don't know. I'll have to think on it. Oh, 
rest, man is the code of laws unlocked. Separated from law and justice. All right, worst. he is the worst. Winter is coming. All right. Um. Okay, so since I'm not fighting barbarians right now, and maybe I won't for a while, I'm gonna try to do it without it. I'm gonna try not to attack any barbarians. I will defend, I will not attack. We're going hard pacifist here. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. This is probably gonna end in tears. I'm gonna uh, increase the XP gain for my recon units, <laughs> which is like objectively so much less useful as far as I can tell, but that's okay. Uh, also, we could really use some more production, so let's do that. Hey, Drake's in again. Winter is in fact leaving. Thank you very much. Don't you put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. It's true, actually. Just like the last week here, it's like someone flipped a switch and it is gorgeous here now. We had snow not that long ago and now it's beautiful. So winter is leaving. You are correct. Also, it's wonderful to have you here, Drake. And thank you for the bits. It's good to see you. Uh, yeah, let's get some production going here. Let's do it. Let's do it. Does Sean Bean die in this game? <laughs> That'd be hilarious if that was like the end game cutscene or something. Walk softly, but carry a pile of nukes. Nah. Nah. It's not how we roll here. No worries, Drake. I'm glad you can make it out tonight. I'm glad. Uh, you get snow here? Yeah, we get a bit of snow here. Uh, not a whole lot, but uh, in fact, this year, we have more snow than we've had in a long time. It's like once in 10 years kind of snow. Um, guess we kind of got to wait here until this guy moves, eh? Um, yeah, we had like a like a foot and a half, almost two feet of snow, which is crazy. That never happens here. It was very un unnorm unnormal, <laughs> unnatural. Some considered to be unnatural. Not from a Jedi. Okay. Prequel memes is leaking. Um, foreign trade. It's always got to be foreign trade. Now, we don't have anyone to trade with here. But we're going to research foreign trade. Because we will, sooner rather than later, run to somebody to trade with. Perhaps our secondary city. I don't know if I should be building another city soon. Probably. I don't know. I've never been good about knowing when in my development curve to build new cities. I tend to be slow about it, I think. All right, let's, uh, let's cruise down here. It is very mild here. Yeah, we very rarely get snow. Can you get this game for PS4? I don't think you can, but it is available on Switch uh, as of recently. All right. It's weird to think that me, a Canadian, gets less snow than you. This goes against every stereotype you've ever been trained to accept. It's because here's the secret. In this corner of Canada, like the southwest corner of Canada, we're poser Canadians. We are, we are at best half Canadian. <laughs> I mean, we're all Canadian, but so many stereotypes don't apply. We do not get cold winters, you know. We do not speak French regularly. <laughs> all right. What was that noise? Ah, look at that. We found the Greeks, Pericles of Athens. Pericles was a very, very uh, capable leader. Smart guy. Hello, I am Pericles of Athens, and I greet you on behalf of the democracy. I trust you'll let me conduct my business with these neutral parties. Oh yeah, let's be friends. That's what we're all about here. Would you like to visit our nearby city and sample our fine Canadian hospitality? Only the best maple syrup for you. On behalf of the people, yes. Excellent. When you find yourself in a hole, quit digging. <laughs> you guys are so violent. <laughs> Cassie, you need to go where wait where I'm at? It's nice here. 
it's really nice here but Etienne Duff, you were shoveling snow this very morning while speaking French. You are truly Canadian. Hey, we have boosted our knowledge of writing. Very good. All right, let's head north. And let's carry on skirting this bandit encampment. Minion, meanwhile. Minion does not understand this term snow. Cassie, you've thought about moving to Canada for a while, but the winters are terrifying for you, a humble Floridan. You know, I think you would be fine up in the Pacific Northwest here. The winters, they can be chilly, but we rarely get snow. They can be wet, like we get a lot of rain. They can be dark. We do have a lot of clouds, but overall, it's, it's pretty nice. Canadian gets tired of not having enough friends, forces friends by nukes. <laughs> That's not how friendship works. All right. Um, what do we want next here? Oh, gosh. Uh, what kind of resources do we have around us? Let's take a quick peek here. So, yeah, we just did mining. We're going to have to uh, build another builder here and take advantage of that. We've got some rice, we've got some gypsum down here. I'm going to turn off the yield icons for now, just because it's kind of cluttering the map. I know some people play with yield icons exclusively on, but... Uh, we don't have a lot of other things. Oh, we have some olives over here, which requires irrigation. <laughs> Drake, <laughs> thank you for the bits. Befriend the Greeks, they gave us Yanni. Yeah, absolutely. I love... Greece. I like Greeks. I like Greek culture and history. You all know that by now, but... And Yanni makes some pretty cool music, so... There you go. Uh, okay, let's do irrigation next, I think. Let's do irrigation. Seems worthwhile. I feel like sailing is not really what we need now. We don't have any coastal cities. Uh, we're not really going for the religion thing. Writing for science is maybe worth doing. You know what? Let's go. Let's go writing. Let's get our science on. I'm a man of science. Uh, we've met a new sieve. Oh, I see. Right. Ah, right. So this is the keeping track of our whatever, the historic moments. So we've found a couple of villages and we met the Greeks. They've increased our era score. That's cool. Greek food is amazing. Man, I love Greek food. It's so good. So good. <laughs> are, we, are we just bugging Jess in chat again? Is that what's happening? Sorry, what's this, Clay? They had poutine in your dining hall today. Are you Canadian yet? <laughs> sure. Why not? You can, if you feel Canadian, you can be Canadian. Come on in. That's the Canadian spirit, right? All right, I think we're hitting the edge of the world over here, too. So we are. All right, let's head north into the Great Desert. Hmm, huh, okay. <laughs> Toothsayer, you are official, official <laughs> recorder of the 69. <laughs> you just let us know every time we hit 69 people in chat, okay? <laughs> That's right. Welcome, Clay. Welcome to Canada. Why wouldn't you be messing with Jess? A great question. I don't know. They never stop teasing you. They're there, Jess. They're there. It's only because they're jealous. They just want to be you. It's like in elementary school. When they bully you, it's because they like you. Or when they tease you. That's how it works, right? They all liked me, right? Right? Ah, uh, dear. Y'all just jelly. Okay, well, we've kind of uh, explored ourselves into a corner here. I'm sort of tempted to send these guys back to just hang out and fortify in Ottawa. <laughs> 100 bits. <laughs> Excuse me. Stop teasing Jess. Yeah, you guys, don't be mean. That's not how we roll here. We're pacifists. We're Canada. <laughs> 100 bits to keep teasing Jess. 
<laughs> is this how it's going? Toss your bits in. <laughs> no, don't. That's not very nice. The answer is stop teasing Jess. Uh, I'm going to send our warrior home because we're not going out and attacking the enemies. We should at least have some defense at home, I think. Oh, okay. We've... Oh, a volcano. <laughs> because Jess has more bits. Stop teasing Jess. Yeah, that's the one. Thank you for the, the bits, guys. <laughs> Alright, wait, bribing Jess? Who's bribing Jess? No, I'm saying no. Drake, <laughs> shame on you. <laughs> shame on you. I need some more American in this campaign. Conquer and destroy. Take all the lands. That is so antithetical to what I'm doing here. Exactly. Listen to Otter Mom. Children, children, leave Jess alone. Leave Jess alone. She doesn't deserve this. <laughs> you guys. Alright. Um, the volcano is quiet now. Yes, okay. Uh, this was added in the Gathering Storm, which was the recent expansion. Etna. Well, Ethna. Eth oh no, Ethana. Hmm. I don't know where Ethana is. I don't know. No, Mount Ethana. <laughs> shame on, shame on Jess. Wow, Drake. Wow. <laughs> I think, uh, I think Drake is, Drake is in the lead right now, Jess. I'm just going to say. So if y'all want to, like, he's number one. On the uh, on the scoreboard there, so I don't know if I'm allowed to disregard what he's saying. I feel like it's a rule. Also, he's a moderator. Like this is strict abuse of moderator power, but I I can't do anything about it. <laughs> why don't you guys combine and pick on Toothsayer? Yeah, why don't you do that? He can take it. All right, uh, let's make another builder. I want another builder. Oh, but I also want a granary. What do I want more? How's our city growing? I feel like it's growing okay, although I don't really know. Where do I even check that? <laughs> Jess! Because you love everyone here, even when they're mean to you. Way to take the high ground, Jess. Way to take the moral high ground. Well done. Don't try it, Anakin. She has the high ground. Total food surplus. Yeah, we've got a food surplus right now. A solid surplus. Let's, uh... No, oh, we gotta pick. Let's build that builder. Build a granary after. Oh look, a volcano. I think we should settle next to it. You know? There's something to it. hundred <laughs> what what is going on here? She does does she have the high ground though? It's true, Drake has the highest ground right now. <laughs> Extremely high ground. Okay guys, chill with your bits. Chill with your bits. It's okay. It's okay. We will just continue as we always have, which is poking gentle fun at Jess, and Jess can pretend to be really offended by it, and everyone will be happy, right? <laughs> All hail Bits King Draconis, exactly. I beat you to it by a second. What? The prequel memes? <laughs> How many bits to drop Drake from the lead? Uh, I couldn't tell you, actually, because I can only see the top three. Unless I click this. Oh, Jess, your total bits? You need quite a few bits. Drake's been generous lately. Don't do it. Don't try it, Anakin. <laughs> uh, sorry, what am I doing here? I'm not playing the video game. Oh, we're learning more. We're learning more about this expansion. A flood along this river could happen at any point in the future. This presents us with risks. Oh, that is rude, Otter. Now we're getting violent. We don't throw things at people here. Except insults. We throw insults. <laughs> can you name settlements in Civ? Yeah, you absolutely can, Clay. Alright, Floodplains got it. And Nick not playing the game? When has that ever happened before? Twitch disliked that. Did they know? This is getting interesting. The Struma River and the uh, Halikamon River. Okay, all right. Oh wait, why did I do that? I could have moved another tile. That was dumb. Oh well. 
Jared, <laughs> Jess only throws love. Only love. That's the way to be. Jess gets it. Jess, Jess gets the vibes we're going for here. Between the rivers, here we go. Oh, now we're stuck. Let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. Oh, pish. All this squabbling. Right, Indy? This looks like a pretty nice place. Yeah, well, we've got floodplains, which is, like, a little bit worrisome. But, um... I'm not sure which tiles flood. I guess these ones. But we've got rice down here. We've got some stone. Some more stone. We've got copper over here. Spices down there. I want some coffee over here. What if we built right here? We'd be so protected from attack. Anyone would be attacking us over a river. That'd be kind of cool. Please make a settlement near the volcano and name it Pompeii 2 Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> We might just have to do that. We might just. Otter nerd, you can't stay mad at the beard man. Are you referring to Drake, the beard man? Uh, let's fortify here. Writing means sharing. We got science up in this. The human condition to want to share things. Thoughts, ideas, opinions. Greek border colors, huh? Where was that? Oh, yep. Yep, you're probably right. Yep. Okay, well, I guess we're not settling here. I feel like that'd be a little a little aggro. Not a great place to settle, if it even lets us settle there. All right, let's go for irrigation next. How about that? How about that? Sounds good to me. Um, let's build that granary, and then we'll build a campus after that and get our science on. <laughs> Lucy, you stepping in. Laying down the law. What's up? How you doing? Running quite a bit behind tonight. Missed what my drink is. No worries. Welcome. I'm glad that you're here. We, uh, so, okay, since you've thrown some bits into the arena, are you pro-bullying Jess or against bullying Jess? This is very important because you put in enough to make a difference. <laughs> also, tonight we're drinking the most Canadian of brews, the Russell Brewing IPA. IPA, eh? Uh, it's really good. I'm enjoying it quite a lot. It seemed very appropriate for this stream. So that's where we're at. It's heckin' Canadian. Heck yes. Heck yes. Oh, there's Athens. Man, I want to go back to Athens. Beautiful city. Amazing food. So many cultural treasures there. Really want to go back to Athens. All right, quarry built. Hey, Jess, you have been gifted a sub by the wonderful D2. So kind. She's coming out in support of you. She doesn't want you to be bullied. So Jess, welcome back to the Spud Buds. Yo, flash your taters, guys. Flash them. Flash, get those taters out there. Air your potatoes. Do not let them fester away in the darkness what wasn't at the beginning of the stream yay and ember you have also been gifted your five month sub by d2 thank you d2 ember welcome back to the spud buds you never really left only in twitch's database but not really you never really left look at the beautiful avalanche a cavalcade a cascade of potatoes in the chat it brings a tear to my eye <laughs> i really think we do need a tater tank sub i'm all about that <laughs> oh who have we met oh are we in the mediterranean we met greeks we met romans hail stranger I am the Imperator Caesar Trajan of far-reaching far Rome. Who are you, and what lands can you claim as your own? These guys might be trouble. They might be trouble. It is an honor to meet you. Tell me of your capital. Was it founded by lost Trojans, or children raised by wolves? It's a reference to the Aeneid, which is the founding 
myth of Rome. Um, yeah, no, it was raised, it was founded by wolves, like straight up wolves, not even children raised by, like just savage, wild wolves founded our city. Take that, Trajan. Sure, the friendly thing to do is exchanging information on our capitals is a great idea. It should help promote trade. Oh, Cassie, you gotta head out. I didn't see where you said that, but... Y'all, it's time for your mandatory company lunch. Well, enjoy your company lunch. Oh, what is happening here? What is this? This is a natural disaster. A major drought. Oh, no. Locusts whir and dust stirs in the hot wind. Sorry, I know I moved my... I was trying to see. The land is parched by drought. Okay, I've never seen this before. Good to know. As our civic knowledge grows, so do our methods of governance. And we have a good one, Cassie. We'll see you later. And Crispy Milk. Thank you, Crispy Milk, for subscribing with Prime. I appreciate it. Much appreciate it. Even if I don't like my milk crispy. Holy cow, Drake. That's a lot of potatoes. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, hey, Scarlet J. I didn't see you there earlier. Welcome, though. Welcome. Okay, so what's this? This is a new mechanic as well. As our civic knowledge grows, so do our methods of governance. Furthering this endeavor will allow us to appoint a governor to strengthen our power in our cities. Governors will greatly improve the loyalty of the city they're in and give it bonuses based on promotions you choose for them. Okay. We will need governor titles. Our main source of governor titles is to complete particular civics. Okay. Good to know. I've never done that before. Crispy milk or chunky milk? How about neither? Neither. Can't you do streak with that Twitch Prime sub? I think you can, Crispy Milk. Yeah, that's weird. It doesn't say, does it? I assume it accrues month on month as usual, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Chunky Milk throws up a little. Oof. Look at all those chickens. I love that video. I don't know why. It's right up there. All right, we got a couple new thingies, policies, maritime industries, not useful. Caravanseries, we don't have any trade routes yet, so not useful. We're just going to keep it as it is. All right, let's get some more uh, mines going on here. All right, keep exploring around Greece. We need to know what they got. Welcome back, Dex. Yeah, we missed you greatly. We were we were just lamenting the fact that you weren't here. We weren't, but in my head. <laughs> we can just, just sh go along with it, guys. It'll make them feel good. <laughs> What's a competition? <laughs> Is it your job? Is it in your job description, Drake, to compete with Jess? Sure. All right, um, choose a new civic. Let's do it. Craftsmanship has been boosted. Hmm. Early empire. What do we get for that? I don't even know. Land surveyors. Settlers produce faster. Mm-hmm. 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 Ah, and a governor tile. That's what I was looking for. Yeah, we want that. Let's do that. It'll get boosted pretty quick here, too, I think. As soon as we have six population. We are at five. We are how many turns? Oops, that's not what I wanted. Growth in... Uh-oh. They're displeased. We need more amenities. It's slowing our growth. Hmm. Gonna have to look into that. <laughs> Give bits, not war. <laughs> Thank you, Jess. <laughs> but what if it was bits and war? What if it was both? What then? <laughs> Craft swords for wars. Wow. Toothsayer's out for blood tonight. It's okay, Dex. No one knows what's going on. I have no idea what's going on. It's alright, though. Okay, we need to find some more amenities for these guys. Um, gosh, what's that going to be? All of them are too far away. Uh, we're going to have to build something. Produce something in the city that would be... 
What are we producing right now? Drake. War give bits not. <laughs> this doesn't even make sense. What does that even mean? What are you trying to say? Moose, you. <laughs> Competing with Jess on bits. Give bit war, not regular <laughs> war. You guys are terrible. Jess is just trying to be so peaceful, and y'all just step in. You're like, hey. <laughs> Hua. <laughs> Minion, you swear your cities are always on the brink of revolt. <laughs> Clay, will I be able to keep the pacifist mindset if I encounter a Nog-based civilization? Absolutely. I love Nog. Or will the second Nog wars break out? No, I have no problem with Nog. So we're, we're all right. I was doing this for a reason. What was I? Oh, right. I was looking at early empire. Hey, what's up, Pericles, my boy? We have sent you a delegation bearing gifts. <laughs> Drake, <laughs> not the Nog again. I thought we were over that, guys. I thought we were done with the Nog Wars. Why do you have to bring up old rivalries, Clay? Why? Uh, Pericles says, we've sent you a delegation bearing gifts. Don't be alarmed. There's no large wooden horse involved. <laughs> Your delegation is most welcome. Why not? Excellent. Very nice. All right, we're gonna mine, mine the poop out of this spot. Let's keep exploring, keep exploring. Ever, ever onward. Have you guys seen that game? Isn't that what's called Onward? No, Outward is what it's called. It's this uh, pretty intense survival RPG with like really cool co-op integration. It looks really neat. Definitely not handholdy, but really cool. Comes out in just a couple days. Might play some of it here, actually. Stream it or It's true, Jess. I don't blame any of this on you. It's, it's all the the being meanies. <laughs> Tricks being a meanie. <laughs> Throwing the bits around. <laughs> your friend just nuked you in your Civ game, Jet7. Well I guess he wasn't your friend then, was he? War and Bits, your other favorite Tolstoy work. Yes, it's a classic, isn't it? Yo, it's Hydrobot. Hydrobot in the house. Alright. We're never done with the Nog Wars. Nog is life. Nog Wars forever. He demanded uranium and you refused, so he nuked you. Something seems strange about that. Oh, dear. Nog. Nog never changes. What? <laughs> Jess, slow down. Slow down. More bits for being an innocent victim who just wants to spread the love. Spread the love. Well, my friends, I'm going to let you all spread the love here. <laughs> and some more. And bits. She wants to spread the bits. Thank you, Jess. You've given a lot of bits tonight. Thank you. You can slow down on it. That's okay. It's okay. We know that you want to spread the love. I mean, thank you to everyone who's given bits tonight, but... Moose, you, you couldn't help but notice the Civ is not Firewatch. <laughs> this is Civ, not Firewatch. Drake, jeez, boy, look at that. Just <laughs> laying down that top spot and holding it with an iron grip. Innocent, right. Well, she's playing it up really well. If she ain't innocent, she's doing a good job of making it look like she is. Yes, Firewatch, one of these days. One of these days, Moose, you, I would like to try out Firewatch. And I, I gather it's not a super long one either. What I was going to say is I'm going to let y'all spread the love while I take a quick break. It's intermission time. Da, 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 da. I don't know. Sometimes there's a halftime show, right? We need a halftime show on the channel. Who wants to be my halftime show? Erica. <laughs> Erica stepping in, asserting her dominance. Let's be done, eh? I agree. That's it. That's that's the final word. It has been said. What say you, Erica? What is your decree? You took the top spot from Drake. I think that earns you the right to say whether we're still bullying Jess or not. That's how it works, right? Whoever pays the most gets to decide who gets bullied. There's more truth to that in reality. That might be a little too real. Let's just step away from that. Drake! Dude, chill! My dude, it's okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you for the bits, my friends. Oh my gosh, I'm not, I ain't playing you off against each other. This ain't happening. I'm not letting that happen. I'm shutting this down right now. <laughs> Children, behave. But thank you for the bits. Really, thank you. That was way too real. I'm sorry, Dex. <laughs> you just earned a 10,000 bits badge, Drake. Holy cow. Look at that badge. That's a lot of bits. Thank you. Thank you. And you're here moderating. Wow. Wow. Everyone, big round of applause for Drake. <laughs> Please. I mean, despite the fact that he's bullying Jess right now. We get to pay to pick on people now. No, that's not how it works around here. That's right. You gotta listen to Otter Mom. If anyone starts bullying, throw some scallop shells about. Sounds right to me. Okay, let's save this game. Just in case uh, something happens while I'm away. Probably won't, but... I'll leave you all here to stare at beautiful river valley of Ottawa and its surroundings. That's how you be toxic in an EA game. You gotta pay for it. <laughs> pay to win. My stream is pay to win. Absolutely. System is rigged. Mod end number one. Collusion. All right, guys. I'm gonna take a quick, 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 quick break. Quick, 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 quick break. Uh, I will be back. Don't touch that dial. Enjoy the live show, the intermission show. I don't know who's providing the intermission show. The halftime show, one of y'all can decide. Erica, 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 it's okay, it's okay, <laughs> but thank you, you have definitively taken the top spot now, Drake, don't you dare, don't you dare, just don't, just don't, <laughs> thank you, Erica, okay, I'll be back, someone, someone keep them entertained, someone, I'll be back in a minute.
All right, how was the halftime show? I saw, I think it was Jess said she would take the halftime show challenge on. How'd it go? <laughs> Drake, you, you waited for me to get back to do that just to make a point, didn't you? Gently removes Erica from the top spot because although this is a competition and he wants the top spot, he still cares for Erica's well-being and doesn't want to hurt her. Well, that is very, very kind of you, Drake. I mean, that is perhaps the the least aggressive way that you could have done that. <laughs> so thank you, Drake, for removing Erica so kindly. But uh, nonetheless, nonetheless, you're still propagating this war. <laughs> Jess was mean to you. What did Jess do? Jess is innocent. We know that. How was she mean to you? Jess, you failed. You had a guest and nobody wanted your kazoo music. <laughs> wow, guys, why wouldn't you want Jess's kazoo music? That's probably very hurtful to her. <laughs> Tooth Sayer just throwing Jess under the bus, because why not? Otter, I missed you burn Drac with a two-part joke. Whoa, I thought you were here trying to keep people in line. What happened to Otter Mom throwing shells? Jess! What war? Wars don't happen with the innocent. That's right, you're a victim of the Bits War. <laughs> Meanwhile, Dex, just trying to just... Are you part of our rad discord? Come hang out. Don't worry about these people throwing their bits around like bullets. You may be the noticeable knight, but Drake is definitely the white knight. Five cities, five have been nuked. I feel like your game is a lot higher stakes than this one, Jet 7, right now. Pinky's out. Cheers, everybody. I hope you're having a wonderful evening. I'm having fun. I'm having fun with this stream so far. We may not have made a lot of progress in Civ, and I may not be very good at Civ, but I'm still having fun. You know why I'm having fun? Because I'm hanging out with all y'all. And you are amazing. You are the best. Sometimes, a real talk here for a moment. Sometimes I have these days, I had one a few days ago, where it's like, you know, I wonder why, why? Why do you guys come out to these streams? Why do you come hang out? Why do we, why do we do this? I mean, I know why I do this, but I guess what I wonder is, I hope I'm, providing i hope this community and these streams are providing something that you can't find elsewhere a uh, sense of community or uh, a belonging or friendship or whatever it is that you're seeking that you may not get elsewhere that's what i hope we're creating here and erica i saw that i saw that <laughs> i saw what you did there knocks drake from the top spot with a reckless abandon erica comes in swinging drake's like they're there now moves erica aside erica just comes in with the haymakers <laughs> none of that <laughs> my hair my hair is what keeps you coming back well then i guess i better never cut it that would be disastrous purify hd hello welcome you've come at a at real talk time here we're just having a little heart to heart because we love you I love you guys too. This is, it's really, it's really something special. It really is. Um, as I pour out more beer. This is really something special, guys. Drinking heavily. Drake was being nice to you, Erica. It's true. You betrayed that trust. <laughs> because me and these people are awesome. Well, Dex, thank you. You are awesome too. You are an important part of this community. Thank you for being here. And Jess, Jess is, Jess is here for my flustered reactions to bits and subs. <laughs> I should just start deadpanning. I should just be like, thank you. I should just spock it, straight spock it. Moose you, you come because you're a fantastic host and the community is so tight knit. No lies there. I mean, I can't speak to the first part. I am a fantastic host. Thank you, Musiu. It's always been very welcoming. Also, you're out of bits. <laughs> well, then get out. If you don't have any bits, what are you doing here? <laughs> I just... Thank you, Musiu. 
Y'all are wonderful. Because I gave you taters, I enabled you to spam those taters. Jess, bits because Moosey is out and you're not, so have some of mine, Your Honor. Look at that, she's donating those on your behalf, Moosey. See, Jess is, Jess is a wonderful person. I don't know why you guys keep beating up on her. It's very mean, it's very mean. Erica came for the Skyrim and stayed for the love. That's really as cheesy as that sounds. Like, I hope that that's what, what you people experience here. You people. All of you. I, I just, sometimes I have these days of self-doubt where I'm like, why do they come to this stream? Like, they could come to any stream, you know? But I do think what we have here is really special. It's pretty unique on the internet, you know? Like, there are other communities that are tight-knit, but there's a, a lot of love here and a lot of support, and that's uncommon, especially in this day and age, it seems, so. Oh, holy crap, I missed the Drake. I missed the 1,500 bits from Drake. Where did that come from? Drake. 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 Picks up Erica and yeets her as far away from the top spot as physically and financially possible. <laughs> well, I suppose that's... What a supportive community we have here, guys. How wonderful. <laughs> Meanwhile, Drake and Erica just yeeting each other around. Get yeeted on, my Erica. <laughs> I'm sorry. Drake did it. He took it. It's done. The war is over. Drake won. <laughs> Jess, you only watch my stream and the... I don't know what the SGDQ stream is, but I know the AGDQ is Awesome Games Done Quick. I don't know what SDG, SGDQ is. I assume it's something similar. Musu, this is the only stream you watch, if you're honest. Well, that means a lot. I, I kind of assume that, like, everybody just watches streams. I don't know. I don't watch a lot of other streams, truth be told. But but that's really cool that people come out specifically for this, too. Now I'm rambling. I should play the video game. The video game that you were here to watch. That's the one. This community is all about love and support. Meanwhile, bits war. <laughs> that's the contrast that I'm going for here. Why did the chicken cross the road to get to the love? Wait, what? Sorry, I missed that. Why did the chicken cross the road to get to this love? I'm going to assume that's lovely community, not a love community. I guess it could be considered a love community, but that sounds like some kind of weird sex cult. So we're going to just assume this is, that's not what you meant. Knock, knock. Who's there? The chicken. Chicken hugs Jack. Aww. You guys, body pillow store, what's going on here? Wait, you come here for video games? Yeah, oh shoot, I didn't realize. I guess I better do something about that. Okay, video games, right. Electronic entertainment in the form of a video game, gosh. Um, well, video games can be fun. Um, yeah, that's about all I got. <laughs> uh, we'll build another farm here. For our, our last thing. Okay, uh, let's let's explore more of those Greeks over here. Scarletta, you watch the stream because me and everyone seem like kind people, so it's a nice place to escape from your stressful life for a few hours every week. Every week. Every week. Every week. <laughs> kind and weird. Yeah, unique. We prefer the term unique special even but it is you know it is thank you all thank you all for sharing the reasons you come here thank you for being your wonderful selves thank you for coming here in the first place and making this place what it is uh i can't say thank you enough honestly what is video game yes who plays video games anymore right no not electronic arts Oh, yo, it's Pericles again. Whoa, is that a threat, Pericles? I <laughs> like how the only option is, uh, goodbye. I didn't even know they had a neighboring city-state. 
darn kids and their electronic games. Wait, what is this? Welcome rainfall. At last, rain has arrived to alleviate the suffering from the major drought. Already the crops are recovering, and the Ottawa drought is now a footnote in the historic record. It's okay, because we didn't really experience the drought, so it's, it's no big deal. But... Toothsayer, you had the worst week. The worst. Well, it's over now. It's the beginning of a new week starting tomorrow. And this week, you know what? This week's going to be a good one. I can, I can tell. I feel it in my heart. You're going to have an awesome week. All right, what are we producing here? In Ottawa, oh, a campus, yeah, let's, or wait, mm, no, let's wait for early empire to finish before we build another settler because we get a bonus to settler production. There, we can swap that one out. So let's do, uh, let's, let's get that campus building. Oh crap, hmm, there's nowhere good for a campus here. Literally nowhere. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna build a campus in a different city. I totally forgot about adjacency bonuses. There's, there's, we need mountains. Mountains, Gandalf. Uh, so you know what? We're just not gonna build a campus here. Instead, let's build a trader. Let's start taking advantage of our trade route. We can trade with Athens. Let's do that. You know, after the stream, you think you're gonna run Civ 6 and see if your German save is still broken or if the mod's updated. Civ 6 is, you know, it's worth playing. I do enjoy it. Although I have not played it nearly as much. Oh, there's Rome way up there. Tooth series. Sorry, you were mocking how I said weak a minute ago. Oh. And look at me. I trusted you and tried to make you feel better. Because I'm a sucker. That's just how I roll. <laughs> yes, you feel horrible. You should. Ban him. Dex. <laughs> uh... But Jess had a rough week, so Jess, your next week is going to be awesome. I'm transferring the good week from Toothsayer to Jess. <laughs> your punishment is not to be banned. You will... You will amend. Yes, exactly. You will learn. We will not let you get off easily. Oof. Strong, coming out strong against the kale there, Clay. Thousands I like kale. Kale can be all right. Not one without water. That's kind of dark. I mean, it's true. Water is a fundamental requirement of life, but man, it's a very like utilitarian way of looking at life. Real talk, though, you did have a rough week. You don't like your job, but you're working on fixing that. Good. That's the trick. Just keep fighting the good fight. Not in a violent way, but in a you-can-do-better fight. Things can be better and will be better. You can make them better. You can take, take the steps to make things better in your life. Uh, I'll be uh, selling tickets to my inspirational speech uh, for next weekend. Y'all can attend. It's $100 a piece, but it'll be a life-changing experience, trust me. <laughs> Um, no, we got new technology, right. I guess we better knock out animal husbandry here. We don't really need it, but, uh, if we ever want archers and stuff, knights and things, let's just do it. Let's just do it. No near-death experiences this week, please. Wait, you had a near-death experience last week, Jess? How did I miss this? Zappa Zupa Tos Toscano. I have never had this. I have never, you know what, guys? I have never been to an Olive Garden. I don't think we have Olive Gardens here in Canada. Correct me if I'm wrong, but certainly not in Victoria, anyway. <laughs> Jess, what if you pay the ticket for inspirational speech in bits? That's that. That'll do. Yeah, that'll do it right there. I see 100. 100 bits is good enough. It's close enough. <laughs> Thank you, Jess. You are the one attendee of my inspirational speech next week. You get to sit there and be inspired by me. <laughs> All right. 
You are the pilot of your own life. Correct. Easy to forget that sometimes. Like, real talk. It's really easy. You know what I find? I find it's easy to f feel like I'm waiting for something. You know, and it's not even a conscious thing. It's like, in my mind, it's all these things that I want to do or improvements I want to make in my life. And somehow, s filtering through my psychology, it's like, oh, well, I'll do that when whatever, when I'm in a better financial situation, when I finish my degree, when, you know, I buy a place of my own or something like that. All these things that are just in the back of my mind, I guess. And it's like kind of holding me back. Also, Jonesies, thank you for subscribing with Prime. Much appreciated. And all y'all, by the way, just in case you didn't know, you probably all know, but if you have Amazon Prime, every month you get a free subscription here on Twitch. Isn't that something? You can spend it wherever you want. Like Jonesy is here who spent it here. It was very generous of him. Or her. Them. I don't really know. Oh, look at that cascade of potates. It is a beautiful thing. It brings a tear to my eye. Anyway, big fan. Oh, thank you, Jonesy. Well, I appreciate it, and welcome, by the way, to our most friendly stream, a real talk stream tonight. I don't know why I'm getting real talky here. We're getting serious. But yeah, I find that I have something about my psychology. I feel like I'm always waiting for something to happen. And when that happens, oh, then I'll, then I'll do these things that I've been meaning to do. But no, this is life. It is happening now. It is made of all the pieces that, you know, you string together into a year, and it slowly builds up until you suddenly realize it's been five years ten years whatever time flies if you have things you want do it and do it now act with purpose that's what i'm gonna say that's my statement for the year act with purpose think about your purpose set your goals make them happen <laughs> there you go that was the inspirational talk you all got it for free you didn't have to pay the hundred dollar entrance fee that's how much i love you Jonesies, you messed up. How did you mess up? You did not. Y'all right. Okay. Um, yeah, let's go to Athens. That's about all we got, so let's do it. It's a long trip, but uh, let's do it. Your trade route uh, has boosted currency, of course. Jess, you paid twice for it anyway. Thank you, Jess. Thank you for all the bits tonight. Man, you've been on fire with the bits. Thank you. I mean, Drake too, and Amusu too, all you guys, and Erica. Erica dropping fat stacks tonight. You guys are too good to me. You're too good. But thank you. What's with all the chickens going on right now? I am thankful that this community has become part of my life, too. I did not imagine that this is where, how it would go. Uh, but I'm so glad that it has. <laughs> I'm so glad that it has. Oh, gosh. Ah! Oh! Barbarian horsemen. Whoa! When did this happen? They've destroyed my farm. I did not notice this. How did I not notice this? Hmm. Well, they're gonna have to tack across the river to attack my city, so I'm probably okay. This is where the pacifism comes to bite us in the butt. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, and we're gonna have to build a, a defensive slinger here, maybe. They can defend from inside the walls. Maybe the warrior can step out and fight these guys. These guys are a lot stronger than us. We can build the hanging gardens. Increases growth by 15% in all cities. Eh, yeah, heck. Why not? Pacifism. We're going for the wonders. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, where, though? Do we build it in a wetland? Do we build it here? We kind of need the production, though. Eh, whatever. Let's build it there. Let's build it there. Nick, take a chicken. We have a lot of strays. Sure, I'll take one of your chickens. Thank you for the chicken. Play. You're not inspired now. You're having an existential crisis about you've already wasted a quarter of your life. You want to refund. <laughs> I feel you. 
I feel the same sometimes. Not that it's wasted, but time flies. Time flies. But the wonderful thing is you can make changes starting tomorrow, starting right now. You can take steps towards what you want, what you want your life to be. Um, I want to escape. I don't want to fight this guy. No, we're not going to fight. We're not going to fight Toothsayer. Well, we'll have to fight a little bit, I guess. Oh, hey, there's the ones that the Greeks are friends with. Granada, I guess. If I'm being attacked, it's all right to defend myself. I guess. I don't know. I'm kind of just making up the rules here as I go. So, depends on how hard pacifism we want to be. Uh-oh. I feel like we've kind of... Oh, well, let's... We have open borders with uh, Greece, apparently. D.S. Huffman solved the flickering problem. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, good. New governor. Yeah, you know what I did to solve the flickering problem is there's a frame limiter in the options, and I just capped the frame rate at 60. Uh, and that seems to have fixed it. So, there you go. There you go. <laughs> nah, starting tomorrow, says Minion. Yeah, fair enough. Toothsayer, what I said helps you. I'm glad. You were already thinking that stuff, but it makes you feel better to hear it, too. Good. Good. Sometimes it just takes a little bit of reinforcement <laughs> from someone, a little prodding, to help you on your way. Why do you today what you can put off till tomorrow? Uh, yeah, that's me sometimes for sure, but it shouldn't be. Procrastination only gets you in trouble. True story. Alright, so we can... Oh, governors. Okay, this is entirely new. I have not done this before. Uh, what have we got here? Victor, the Castellan. Oh gosh, there's so many freaking things to look at here. They all have these bonuses. What do they do? Okay, so this is a combat strength guy. Increases city garrison combat strength by five. Establishes in three turns. Garrison commander. Units defending within the city's territory get plus five combat strength. This might actually not be that bad. He's highly defensive. And since we're not going out and getting the barbarians. But you know what? I don't really have time to read all these things. So you guys, tell me. Tell me who we should pick. Just based on the art. Who do you like? <laughs> who should we go with? You, you tell me. Just flood the chat with it. Toothsayer, you, you'll be the governor. I had a guess, chicken, what did you miss? Uh, you know, just some real talk. Also, we have some, some governors to pick from. Liang, the surveyor, okay. Pingala is good, the tall one. Who's the tall one? They're all the same height. <laughs> you can't just say that. Second to last, Pingala. Okay, that's two votes for Pingala now. All right, sure, let's do that. You know what, that's good enough. I've had a couple people suggest Pingala or Liang. I like the educator. I like being educated. Let's do it. Let's do a Pingala. Ilk Multi says Amani. Sorry, Ilk. You're in a little late. Let's just do, let's just do this. Let's do Pingala. In Ottawa. Now we get more loyalty per turn, okay? I don't actually know how Ottawa works, but... Or how uh, loyalty works. I think cities can revolt. Education is key. I agree. Gotta have a smart populace. Oh boy, these knights are just going around just wrecking everything. Hmm. Alright, I think we're going to have to do something about this. They're probably going to go pillage this guy as well. Oof. This is not good. My warriors are not going to be able to fight those knights. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, early empire has been boosted. Too bad. Oh, I am fond of we just got it. I don't know. Dogs look up to us. Cats look down on us. Pigs treat us as equals. Yeah, pigs are cool. Look back over the past. There we go. Changing empires that rose and fell, and you can foresee the future too. 
<laughs> yes, that's right, Knight. Knight bot. Your brethren dishonor themselves by attacking Canada. Well, you should tell them to stop breaking our stuff. Stop wrecking our crap. Bunch of jerks. Okay, this is a case where it might be worth uh, swapping this guy out. <laughs> Uh, so we're a little better against the barbarians. And then let's uh, swap out our settler production here and build a settler because I think we need a second city. Let's do that. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Masonry. Walls. Yeah, walls sounds like a good thing. We could probably use some walls. Let's do it. It's been boosted. Okay, let's choose a civic. What do we got? Oh boy, um, political philosophy is going to take a while. Let's just knock out craftsmanship real quick. Do we want either of these? Plus 50% production towards ancient and classical era melee, and, so military units, or production towards builders. We might want that uh, because we're going to need to build a builder to fix everything that's getting broken right now. Okay, so out of curiosity, if we were to take these guys and attack, oh, major victory. For some reason, I thought these... Oh, they're not knights, Nightbot. You're okay. They're horsemen. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's wreck them. We are defending... Notice we are within our borders. We are defending our borders. This is not an act of war. Oh, we got some frame rate lag happening. Second of buffering. Latch, can you have had a little bit? Jess, you have a bit on your phone. <laughs> Thank you, Nightbot. Brother, cease this tireless and foolhardy crusade at once. It is unbecoming of a knight to show such force and savagery upon a peaceful nation. Absolutely. However, it's a horseman, not a knight, so you're okay. You're off the hook. Off the hook, yo. It's fine now, but it was laggy earlier. I do see here it says 0.8% dropped frames, so yeah, I probably did drop a few frames for some reason or another. Wow, what jerks? Look at these jerks. Busting up all my crap. <sighs> yeah, get out of here. Run away. Run away. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, look at that. More barbarians. Conquering the world with kindness. Let's wreck them with kindness. <laughs> Wow. So, presumably Trajan's agenda is expansion. He says, you've left the richest parts of the land for your enemies to claim. Are you so scared of expansion? Um, we're building a settler right now, bruh. 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 Civilizations have uncovered new technologies and civics. And soon the world itself will reach the dawn of a new era. Oh, got an era coming up. May lead us into a golden age for our civilization. I don't think we're gonna have a golden age. Our uh, our first era has not been so great, but we'll see. I guess ancient era ends in ten turns. Okay, if we can build a city in that time, I think we'll be good. Oh, can we attack these guys? No, it's two turns. You jerks! You're just gonna run away like that. Mm. They're still on our borders. It's fair game. Let's beat up on them. Or we'll position ourselves to beat up on them. I don't know what we just found. What is that? We got lots of things. A city state quest. Oh, Zanzibar. Are they the first? Are we the first civ that has met them? Yeah, no, Trajan. Okay. Oh, they have an envoy. I see. Trigger inspiration for state workforce. I don't remember what that entails. Oh well. What else we got over here? I haven't been paying attention to this feed because... Okay, we need more amenities. And more improvements getting pillaged. And an unmet player has built the Great Bath. It looks like it's going to be a Dark Age. Yeah, probably. I have no idea what the requirements are for a not Dark Age. I don't know how many things you have to accomplish. For a golden age. 
Your trader, Liam, overheard that Greece is expanding, adding a new settlement. Corinth. Alright. Oh. Get wrecked, buddy. Wow, he just, like, swept in and died. Alright, well. Dealt with, at least. Dealt with. And we get a promotion out of it. You want to see an alternate history where Ottawa is the Holy Land and Greece sends crusades to retake it. It could happen. That's how Civ works. You heard the Great Bath? Yes, the Great Bath. We could have a Great Bath here. Except we can't because somebody else built the Great Bath. Okay, let's send our warriors back to heal up. That's important. Uh, we can't really go anywhere else, so moving along. Hydrobot says, drink your water. Alright, craftsmanship is done. Gosh, we need a better government so that we can get more policy slots here. Because I would like to increase our... How uh, are closer are we to building a settler here? Uh, oh, we're building the Hanging Gardens. Ugh. For another five turns. Pfft. That's dumb. How do we change our civics? Totally forgot I was doing that. Alright, let's just change this out. This is not very not very efficient, but let's let's do that. That will hopefully help build the gardens faster. Oh, have a good night, Musu. Sleep well. Take it easy. Thanks for coming out and for dropping some bits. Much appreciated, as always. Everyone say good night to Musu. <laughs> you already beat me to it, so. We need a better government. You and me both, Nick. Well, we're getting political here. But yeah, fair enough. Wait, didn't I choose? Oh no, I have to choose my new civic. State workforce. Yeah, awards to governor tile. Let's do it. That sounds useful. Governor title, sorry. Your favorite verse in your bootleg Vietnamese Bible is the Great Bath. <laughs> what? What? I don't even know. I don't even know. Oh, look at that. How's that not been taken yet? There's people all around. Oh, it's another volcano. Wow, we got a lot of volcanoes here. This is a volcanically active region. Methana volcano and Tsik's volcano. Tsik's cone. And the Pawinigao. Pawinigao Sipi. All right, let's go. Let's get this. Let's get this thing. Oh, goodness. Oh, 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 oh. Getting tired, my friends. I feel like I'm... Oh, you jerks. They took it. You see that? Did you see that? Bunch of jerks. Pompeii to electric boogaloo. Uh, poor Ottawa. It's looking so wrecked right now. You need to get a builder to fix this stuff, but it's still another two turns for the hanging gardens. If we build the hanging gardens, do you think it'll save us from a dark age? What do you think, guys? I mean, we'll have built a wonder of the world. Uh, okay, what are we gonna what are we gonna do here? A wheel sounds like a good thing. A water mill, oh, for more production, very good. We're on a river. We could do that. Let's do that. Wait. Oh, Zanzibar. Oh, city-states can't take tribal villages. That's fine then, but I need these guys to move. Please move your warrior so that I might take the tribal village. Rome has conquered Granada. All right. Nice. What do we get? Ah, one population. Very good. Yo, Thorak, what up? Has Canada taken over the world? Not yet, but I am drinking this delicious Canadian beer, which is, you know, close enough, right? This IPA. <laughs> it's really good, actually. Um, no, Canada's kind of sucking, actually, if 
I'm being honest. We're doing a we're doing a pacifist playthrough. I had to kill some barbarians because they were breaking all my stuff. The ascent to the highest story is by stairs, We built and a thing. Of water engines, we built a thing, guys. Which persons appointed expressly for the purpose are continually employed in raising water from the Euphrates into the garden. Look at the great hanging gardens of Ottawa. That world wonder. <laughs> Beautiful, isn't it? Yo, have a good night, M1 Chuki. Your wife's home, time to go. All right, have a good one. We'll see you next time, I hope. Say hi to your wife. We've never met your wife, but say hi. Tell her everyone says hi. <laughs> Isn't that a beautiful hanging garden? Gardens, plural, I suppose. Just lovely. Should help us on our way to culture. Isn't that, isn't that what it does? What does it even do? I don't remember what the Hanging Gardens does. The glory of completing World Wonder has boosted our drama and poetry. Uh, yeah, what do the Hanging Gardens do? Now that, I, now that I'm thinking about it, how do we see our completed buildings? Uh, I don't remember. Over here somewhere. There we go. Hanging Gardens. It increases growth. Right, right, of course. Yeah, it's not so bad. Provide some housing, provide some growth. Okay, let's build a builder here to fix our broken stuff and then a settler because we really need another city. We really need another city. Okay. I bet you we're really behind on amenities there, eh? In Ottawa? Uh, let's see. How are we doing? <laughs> Displeased. Oh dear. One of three. Hmm. So how can we get more amenities? Improve luxury resources. We don't have any luxury resources. Like literally there are none. I don't know if olives count as a luxury resource. They do, but that's pretty far away. We could build a city out that way. We should probably build our next city with an eye towards claiming luxury resources. Gypsum is an option. Spices. Okay. Well, what if we build a city up here near the headwaters of the Hal 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 Haliacum? Halia wow. Haliacmon River. <laughs> uh... Oh, it's really close to those guys, though. I'm just thinking, because then we'd, we'd get some spices, we'd get some mountains, we could build a campus up here. It'd be on our trade route. Like, if we put it, like, right here, or right here, would that be too close to the Greeks? Would they get mad? But that would help us get some more luxury resources. I don't know. What do you think, guys? That's right, Scarlet and Jay. Oh, Canada sings O Canada in French. Uh, I used to be able to do that. I haven't done it for many years. I don't know if I could anymore. Entertainment district. I don't know if I can build one of those yet. What does that require? Let's take a look. Let's take a look. No, we cannot build an entertainment district. What is the prerequisite? I probably need to research something. Uh... I don't even know. Oh well, I guess my people are just going to be sad forever. <laughs> just mad forever. Okay, let's carry on. Whatever we were doing. Yeah, amenities are annoying. A red light district. I mean, depends on what kind of entertainment we're talking about, I guess. Ah, is it from a civic? Right, of course. Of course, of course. But what civic? There we go. Games and recreation. Uh, once we finish state workforce, we could research that, but that's a ways away yet. But that's, that's a good idea. We'll keep that in mind. Very good idea. Meanwhile, our scout just cruising, just cruising. Otter nerd, it's okay. You don't understand. Basically, our people in Ottawa don't have enough stuff to have fun. There's all work and no play makes them upset. So they want stuff to have fun. They want luxuries or they want circuses or arenas or just something to keep them entertained because I don't have anything to keep them entertained. They're ungrateful jerks is what I'm saying. 
I don't have any easy way of getting stuff to make them entertained. What just happened? I just heard some combat. Oh, right, our warrior needs to be promoted. I forgot about that. We should go do that. Uh, where's our warrior at? Yo, buddy. Take this promotion. Plus 7 combat strength versus melee and ranged units, or plus 10 when defending against range attacks. I think we'll go with the more generalized one. I think that's probably a safe bet. <laughs> You've never heard of an entertainment district besides that one. I mean, the, it could be like a, red light, a red light district. Like, they don't specify. You don't build brothels, though. I don't think you can build brothels in this game, so... Be nice to Otter, even though she called you a bully. Well, look at that, Drake, sticking up for for Otter. What did we just build? Oh, we just built a builder, I guess. No, wait, hold on. This is our warrior. Fortify the warrior. But the builder needs to go fix all the broken stuff. Please. Repair. No brothels, Drake is out. That's all he was here for. Can't build brothels, ain't worth playing. Trana Wolf, thank you for following. I do not recognize your name, so welcome to the stream. I hope you are enjoying your time here thus far. Even if you just arrived here, even if it's been a very short amount of time, I hope you're enjoying it. Everyone say welcome to Trana Wolf. <laughs> not to call you out or anything, but... Hi, it's the giant hug. Um, okay, we need walls, sure, but what we really need is a settler, so let's build a settler. Clay, you all tabbed out and just kind of heard that. Why are we, or are we not building brothels? We are not building brothels because they are not available to be built, you guys. Bunch of, bunch of thirsty, thirsty empire builders. <laughs> Yo, thanks, Tunces. Okay, so time's coming to choose which of our accomplishments to commemorate in history. What is this? So we're shaping our civ for the next era, I guess. This is all new to me. Oh, oh, what kind of age do we get? What could it be? Probably Dark Age. Hmm. From the actions of our recent past. It's exciting, guys. Once again, we have the oh my gosh, there's so much talking. Of we can use oh my it to promote one of our existing governors, or we can appoint another new governor to our civilization. What is happening? Okay, we can promote an existing governor or appoint another one. We are now ready to choose oh my gosh, so much buildings. talking. We may only zone one of these in our empire. Well, we only have one city so far, so I guess that's where we're building them. Um, are we going to... Are we going to promote Pingala? Oh, he provides culture for each citizen. Yeah, I like that. Science. He's about science and culture and tourism. Oh, and he likes space program. Yeah, I'm about him. Let's do it. Oh, pick! Wow, this is this is complex. Governor abilities. Okay, so he provides a fifteen percent increase in science and culture. So we can choose connoisseur or researcher. Let's take connoisseur. If we're gonna shoot for cultural victory, that sounds like a good idea. Let's do it. Okay, I think we're good. Don't reinvent the wheel. Just I like how Toonces says welcome, no one else did. I'm sorry, Trina Wolf. They're normally better than this. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm sorry. Didn't mean to throw you guys under the bus. Oh my gosh. What is happening, Jenya? What is going on? <laughs> it's okay, Drake. I'm just I'm just bugging you guys. It is equally important. Happy and engaged workforce, as it is to have a profitable bottom line. 
<laughs> Too late, Drake. You missed it. You missed your chance. Now it just comes across as ungenuine. Okay. Um, gosh, we have a lot of policies now that we could... Um, we are producing a settler right now, but this feels very short-sighted because it's not going to take us that many more turns to build a settler, so... Plus two loyalty per turn for cities with the garrisoned unit. I mean, we're not fighting barbarians right now, but we probably will be at some point. Unit maintenance reduced. Hmm. Hmm. All these options. So many options. Uh... Goodness me, goodness me. Eh, we'll keep it how it is. A generic plus one production is not a bad idea. I like these ones where you can increase production towards specific things, but the problem is I'm never producing stuff for like a long enough time to really take advantage of those bonuses, it seems. Feels that way, anyway. We'll just keep it as it is. Let's come down this way. Jess, you were with a guest and came back just in time for the promotion. Talk Lamau. Well, we did what you were asking for, so there you go. Oh, okay, so now we have to make a dedication. Once we enter a new era. Okay, what is this? Current age, dark. Uh-oh. Oh, no. We are in a dark age during this era. Guys, we tried so hard. What were we supposed to do? Trajan is in a normal age. Pericles is also in a dark age. Each of my citizens exerts 0.5 loyalty pressure on their city. This pressure also affects other cities within nine tiles, but is 10% less effective per tile. It will be harder to maintain loyalty in your cities and more difficult to affect the loyalty of nearby foreign cities. Big oof. You may adopt powerful dark policies in your government, <laughs> but which may carry a heavy price. I don't want a dark policy. Jeez. If you were not in the last era and earn enough era score for a golden age in the next game era, you will instead earn a heroic age, able to make multiple dedications for multiple powerful bonuses. All right, we got bounce back. I assume it tracks this somewhere. I have no idea where it tracks this. You may make a dedication which will provide an additional source of era score during the age. Okay. Because you earned a dark age, you may make one dedication. Free inquiry. Gain plus one error score each time you trigger a Eureka. Okay. Effort to construct a new building that builds yields science. Pen, brush, and voice. Gain one error score when you trigger an inspiration and one for constructing a building with a great work slot. Monumentality. Whenever you create specialty districts or exodus of the evangelists. Plus two error score each time you convert a city to your founded religion. Gosh, this is ridiculous. Lamau. <laughs> you have a problem with my Lamau? <sighs> Dark Ages are basically meaningless this early in the game, are they? Okay. If anything, it's better because you get a heroic age next. We tried so hard and got so far. In the end, it might matter. We don't know yet, Dex. I'm sure you can check your error score somewhere. I just don't know where. All right, guys, it's a world of darkness. Let's get a dark policy on. Uh, let's go with free inquiry. That sounds like a good thing. Science buildings give us bonuses. Well, the whole screen just got dark. <sighs> we tried, guys. We tried. If I click take me there, will it show me? Uh... Okay, I thought it might show me something that shows where, what kind of age we're going to have next, but apparently not. The bottom right underneath the turn button. Ah, there it is. Okay, good to know. We need 16 era points to get out of this dark age. Is that what it is? We're at 9 out of 16 right now. Yeah. Oh no, we'll get out. Yeah, we'll avoid a dark age if we hit 16. But to get a golden age, we need 28 era points. That sounds challenging. Thanks for dropping your knowledge, by the way, Dan Quilton. I appreciate that. All right. Uh, we just got a wheel. 
What should we do? Bronze work in astrology. Some currency? Sure, let's do some currency. Boost it with our trader. Let's get it. Let's get it. I love this jaunty rendition of the Canadian anthem. Okay, uh, and we're gonna do drama and poetry. Oh no, games and recreation, because we need some more amenities for our people. That's important. A red light district, right? That's what they need, right? And let's fix up this broken, this here broken thing. Hmm. They want an open borders treaty in exchange for 14 gold lump sum and horses. Um, horses are unfortunately not a luxury resource. We could use a luxury resource, but I mean, sure, I don't know, whatever. Hopefully they don't march in here and beat on me, but let's do it. Works for me. We're agreeable here in Canada, right? We're agreeable. <laughs> I didn't take astrology, but <laughs> Jess finna gonna join my nation is oh that's right, Jess you you like the astrology stuff, don't you? That's your thing. It's okay. She's welcome here. Everyone is welcome here. Uh let's fix this thing. Shush your Capricorn mouth. <laughs> Oof. I don't even know what that means. I don't even know what that means. But it sounds harsh. Oh good, we fixed everything. Alright, sure, let's let's mine some stuff. Our scout's just going. Just going. Baloney, Balogna, if you will. Your contact with other states has crystallized your ideas on governing your own people. Political philosophy has been boosted. <laughs> Dex, you're a Leo, so you have a lion, and the lion's the best sign, because you're a heckin' lion. I'm a scorpion. I don't know how that what that means. <laughs> I don't know. What are Scorpios supposed to be? How can you let those barbarians run amok so close to your home? I don't know. Why don't you come beat up on them if you dislike them so much? Ah, good. Our settler. Finally. Where shall we build? What are all these little... Oh, loyalty influence, because we're close to the Greeks. I see. So settling here would be bad. We're already in Dark Age, and settling here would reduce the loyalty of our city. Very interesting. Uh, we could settle out here, but I don't really want to do that. Huh. What is this? Oh, this land will flood when sea level rises a second time. This is very interesting. All these mechanics that I've never... Oh, and this is in the volcano splash zone. Check it out. These mechanics I've never had to think about before. <laughs> Leos are precious. You hear that, Dex? You're precious. Minion says, oh no. What is the oh no? There's a volcano over here apparently. We can't see it, but what if we built like right here? So then we're not on fresh water. I don't know. What if we just YOLO and build a city right here? What happens then? Is that an aggressive thing? What if we're just like, hey, we just want to be friends, better friends, Greece. We're building closer so we can be better friends. Maybe we'll have the city revolt. That could be interesting. What the heck? Let's try it out. I don't really want to build a city over here, so I guess we could build a city here. It's on the ocean, we get sea turtles, and we get olives, but that seems really lame, and we get cattle. I feel like production's going to be super low there. Y'all are just like, I don't care, not even a little bit. 
Yeah, there's like, well, okay, there's two production in this tile. Oh, because it's a hill. All right. The game recommends building here. I'm not quite sure why. Hmm. Or up here. Oh, that's true. There's a river here. We got all kinds of fresh water. We got horses, sheep. Huh. That's that's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. I can build an aqueduct for fresh water if I go near a mountain. Okay. All right. That's worth considering as well. What if we built like right here? If we build our city on the resource, do we get the resource? I think I've asked this before, and I think the answer is no, but I'm not sure. We need like construction or something to build aqueducts. I don't know. How do I play this game, guys? Okay, let's make a decision. Um, let's build it this way. Let's build up towards, towards Greece. Let's build right here. This looks like a powerful spot in a pass. No access to fresh water, but we could build an aqueduct. We have mountains on either side. Good place for science. Yeah, what the heck? Let's do it. I don't care. YOLO. <clears throat> you get luxuries and strategic when you build on them. Is that correct? So we will get this luxury resource when we build a city on it. Right here. Get the spices. Let's do it then. Let's do it. I'm into it. I'm all about it. Uh, let's build some... Oh yeah, a watermill sounds really good. Rice and wheat give plus one food and we get extra production. Let's do it. Sounds amazing. Oh, Dan Quilton says not luxuries, yes strategic. But Tall Morty says yes luxuries and strategic. So I don't know who is correct. <laughs> You guys can fight about it. <laughs> um, but whatever. There are more spices there that we can build a plantation on or whatever. <laughs> Meanwhile, our lonely trip of our, our little scout just out in the world. Exploring the world. Your trader, Liam, overheard that Greece is expanding. Okay. Oh, what's this? What's this? What's happening? Barbarians approach. From the south. I hope our settlers don't get jacked. Where did we... All right, here. What if we should send our warriors with them? That'd probably be the smart thing to do. Let's do it. Can't I, can't I like, uh, link them to escort? Yeah, let's do that. Sorry. Yeah, there we go. Let's do that. The spice must flow, exactly. Dan Quilton says, you're not sure you've never built on a luxury out of fear of not getting it. All right, well, let's see what happens. We'll see what happens. This is a chance for exploration. A learning experience for us all. Uh, let's mine that thing. Mine the heck out of that. Oh, Canadian Empire makes history. Let others say what they will, but the real flourishing of classical Erica, era, classical Erica. <laughs> Is classical Erica here? <laughs> Are you still here, classical Erica? Let others say what they will, but the real flourishing of classical era culture began with the discovery of games and recreation by Canada. That's right. We're about bringing the fun to the people. We have made history. I hope that gave us some era points. Does not bring you happiness. Will at least help you be miserable in comfort. All right. If bread is the first necessity of life, recreation is a close second. Oh, classical Erica is here in the chat. Look at that. All right. Uh, do we have something here that can make people happier? Extra housing in cities with at least two specialty districts? No. 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 
No, none of this really seems to be doing it. Eh, screw it, whatever. I guess we could do something here to... Eh, whatever, who cares? Too lazy. Too lazy. Don't even care. Um, okay. Let's do some bronze working. We should probably do that, eh? Sounds like a thing that we should probably have. At some point, we're going to have to defend ourselves more. Better. Mo better. Political philosophy in three turns. We can get a new government. Awesome. Uh, yeah, you guys continue on your way up there. Oh, that's going to have a... They built right, right where I was going to build. Or not right where, but very close. You jerks. You jerk Greeks. I bet you if I build a city here, it's, uh, it's a bad time. If I select the settler. Oh, we can't even build a city there now. Bunch of dinguses. Hmm. I could still build here. Hmm. Still spices there, but that's getting pretty close. Maybe we're better off coming over here now. Hmm. I don't know, you guys. Yo, what up, Versace? How you doing? The tile next to it should be fine. You think in here or you think in here? In the tile to the west, the southwest, or the tile to the east? Because I can see both. I feel well. It's, what's the, what's the yield looking like? Ah, eh, the desert's not so good. Maybe here. This might be a better place. Or here. I guess we could be here. Maybe that is the play. Because then we have spice here. Oh, but we're not next to the mountain, so we can't build an aqueduct. Is that right? IDK. You're thinking next to both spices, like right in here. Yeah, yeah, I could see that. I could see that. Uh, okay, our builder. Our builder's kind of out of things to build right now. Also, we got barbarians coming from the south, and we've left our city unguarded. That's probably not good. You don't have to be next to it one tile away for an aqueduct because it's a district. Ah, of course, of course, of course. Districts, they change the game. I always forget to think in terms of districts. I'm thinking like, if I want ocean access, I gotta settle on the coast, but that's not really the case. You can sort of, you can settle a tile or two away. This guy's on quite the adventure. I don't know where he's going, but we will find out. Uh, why don't we send our builder up here with these guys and he can start improving the area around the new city. Let's do that. Gosh, it is 10 after 10 here on the Pacific Coast. I'm probably going to wrap this stream up pretty soon, you guys. Oh gosh, what are we... Greece wants open borders. They will give us more horses. Okay, here, how about they give us gypsum instead? Get rid of the horses. How do I, how do I get rid of the horses? Um, offer blocking deal. How do I, what is happening here? Am I seeing flickering over there? What's happening? What are we stopping, Jess? Maybe it's flickering again, I don't know. Ah, oh, there we go. I don't know. Okay, I swear I'm seeing flickering over there. A bit. Oh no, it's back. No. Okay, I'll finish this up quick. I assume they don't want to give me their gypsum. That's what they're saying here. What if we... I cannot accept this deal under any circumstance. Okay, fine, whatever. We'll just take back the... All right, whatever. Good enough, good enough. Happens on the trade screens, but it's not that bad. Okay. Well, that's good. Oh my goodness, a lot of ships here. Who's this belong to? Auckland. Okay. We have met Auckland, I guess. I don't know where they're positioned. Oh, way over here. Yar, there be dragons. Sea serpents. Okay, let's keep moving our settlers here. Keep moving, keep moving. These stupid Greeks. Uh, and we will go, we'll move to improve the spices right away, because we need more luxury. 
that will fix if you turn the animations off. Okay, that's good to know, because I'm not seeing the flickering at all on my screen, as I've said before. It's not rapid like before. That's okay. If it's not too bothersome, I don't mind it, but... Ah, very nice. Construction has been boosted by building a water mill. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It's worth coming out here after all. Okay, you know what? Let's build... Um, walls would be good, but let's build another military unit just to protect this place. Let's build... Uh, the slinger will pop out pretty quick. Ranged attack, that'll be useful. Let's do that. We can upgrade them to bowmen later. All right, it's time. It's time to build our city in the maybe the derpiest place, but it's okay. It's okay. Whatever. We're doing it. Build my city. Mammy. Hamilton. <laughs> oh dear. This is a lot of text. Settling a new city has expanded our civ. With an empire larger than our, the one city, it's important to keep an eye on loyalty. If loyalty decreases, the city's not as effective. If it drops to zero, the city will declare its independence and become a free city. The free city of Hamilton. I've been to Hamilton, Ontario. It's... It's alright. It's okay. It's a former industrial city. There's a steel mill. There's a university. McMaster University is there. It's not such a bad place. The Ni Niagara Peninsula is very nice. Okay, whatever. She's talking a lot about loyalty. I don't need to know about that. In Hamilton, we shall build a monument to start generating some culture. How about some pressure against the Greeks? Cultural pressure. Politics is the art of the possible, the attainable, the art of the next best. Look at that. We get a new civic. A new government, sorry. Oh, this looks different. Okay, a bunch of governments. Uh, do we have to click one of these? So we're evolving from a chiefdom to something. A classical republic, an oligarchy, or an autocracy? Classical republic. All cities with a district receive plus one housing and plus one amenity. Yeah, we could use that. Oligarchy... It's about combat. We don't need that. Miss me with that. Miss me with that. Autocracy plus one to all yields for each government building and palace. Nah, nah, we're going classical republic. That's what we're doing here. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Over here, look at this. The bureaucrats of Greece are piqued by our boldness in settling Hamilton so near their own city of Knossos. It's okay. We're just here to be friends, guys. Scarletta J, you rep in Hamilton, Ontario? You out that way? Flash forward three streams and now I wish I'd learned more about loyalty. True story. I'm going to regret not paying attention to that tutorial tip in future, but whatever. The people of Canada adopt a, go adopt a government of classical republic, the great synthesis of our political philosophy. Plus three era score. Very good. Okay, now look at all these policies. We don't need no military policies in our classical republic. We are a civilization of great thinkers, minds, great minds, scientists, poets, the arts. Okay, you get a diplomatic policy. Charismatic leader, plus two influence points per turn toward earning city-state envoys. That's a peaceful thing. That would be good. Or diplomatically, the first envoy you send to each city-state counts as two. Now let's get the more more city-state or more envoy points. Uh, plus production and one more economic policy. Uh, gold from trade routes not so useful. Production towards settlers no. Housing in all cities with least no. Faith in gold no. Wonders no. No, none of those are really that useful. All right, I guess we'll just take the gold from trade routes. We could get some more trade routes going. Oh, we can't. We only have one trade route slot available. Mm. Can you build Nanaimo? <laughs> I can. Next stream, I'll build Nanaimo. I'll build Victoria, too. Nanaimo bars are so good. Holy crap. I would love a Nanaimo bar. 
How many of y'all have heard of Nanaimo bars? I'm curious if they're a thing from like that's anywhere else except here. Have any of you had Nanaimo bars? Uh Oh uh, gosh, I don't know. None of these are really that useful. Because we're not doing any of these things right now. I guess we can just do God King. I mean, we haven't really been playing the Faith game here, but apparently no one else has either, so... Sure, whatever. Gold's always nice. And then we get a wild card policy. I guess we could put in this other Envoy one. Maybe we should be befriending city-states, huh? Oh, these are the Dark Age things. I should probably consider one of these. Start an inquisition. Uh, no, we're okay. Domestic trade routes provide more stuff. Plus 75 science in cities with a holy site, but minus 25% culture. No, 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 no. Extra combat strength for all melee attack units, but cannot heal outside your territory. That's not so bad, because we're not being aggressors here. So you know what? Let's do that. Let's throw that in there, because that means defending will be more effective. Well, defending, we'll, we'll, we'll have more combat strength and then we can heal within our borders. Good enough. Good enough. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Wait, you saw Nanaimo Bar beer on Instagram? Who's brewing that? Not in Australia, says Dan. All right. They're a thing over where you're at. You're in Yakima, is that, or near Yakima, is that right, Jess? Or am I totally making that up? I think you are. I would like to try that Nanaimo Bar beer, that sounds amazing. I bet you'd be all right, I bet you'd be all right. Okay, uh, and a new Civic. Oh, sure, drama and poetry, that sounds lovely, let's do it. Ah, uh, and time to gather tribal village here we're granted a recon unit does that mean we have oh we just got promotion to this one is that what happened i don't know oh right of course in our home city all right you know what though this looks like a solid place to leave off for now things are kind of expanding we've got another city hamilton the great city of hamilton growing over there uh but it's getting pretty late i'm getting pretty tired and I really gotta hit the bathroom, not gonna lie. So, <laughs> I think we're gonna wrap things up here for tonight. This has been a much more successful Civ stream than our last one, has it not? Uh, I hope you've all enjoyed it. Uh, oh, next week, next week, I am not sure if I will be streaming. I'm going to be away for the first week of April, uh, out of town, uh, and leading up to that week, it's gonna be quite busy. Jess, you still have bits. Just drop them. Dump the bits. If they catch you with the bits, they'll take you away. You'll get charged. <laughs> Thank you for the bits, Jess. It's very generous of you. I appreciate it. You could save them, but thank you. Thank you. Yakima, I was talking about Jess, but I guess I'm talking about you too, Drake. You weren't the only one in Yakima. The only cool one. Oof, harsh. Brutal. Um, anyway, so I will keep you guys informed about next weekend's stream. I have a plane to catch early on Monday morning, April 1st. So if I do stream, I might move it a bit earlier or it might be shorter, but it's going to depend on whether I'm crazy stressed at that point trying to get stuff together. <laughs> so I will let you know is what it comes down to. I will tweet it. I will let you know on the Discord. I will let you know on Facebook. So that way you know. Uh, and if you are looking for more uh, relaxation tonight, something to fall asleep to, you can always head over to the YouTube channel and check out part two of my review of the uh, Tada 68 Pro mechanical keyboard. I have a lot to say. I often have a lot to say, but I have a, a lot, a lot to say about this keyboard. Drake, my friend, you have given more than your fair share of bits. Thank you. You will be the last gift giver, bit giver. Thank you very much. <laughs> you
you guys, you guys, children. Now, thank you. Thank you to all you guys. Everybody for your generous gifts of subs at the beginning of the stream. Thank you to Cypress. Thank you to D2. Thank you to Erica. Thank you for all the wonderful bit givers. Drake and and Jess and Erica and, and Musiu and anybody else who was throwing bits around today. And thank you to everybody who came on out to hang out tonight. I really appreciate it. Have a good night, Minion. Have a good night, Ember. Good night, Jess. Good night, Dex. And of course, a special thank you to our moderators working tirelessly as they do. Shout out to Dex. Shout out to Drake. Shout out to Minion and Musiu and Cassie, who was here briefly uh, earlier. Uh, and Versace, who was here. Thank you all. Have a good night, Ilk. <laughs> good night, Jenia. Thank you for coming out. Otter Nerd. See ya. Creeper Cats. Dan Quelton, thank you for your advice tonight. I appreciate it. Toothsayer, good night. Infinity, good night. Yo, Thoric, thanks for dropping by. Catch you later. <laughs> and Drake, don't forget the after party in Discord After Dark. Of course, how could I? Head on over to Discord After Dark. I'm going to clean up here. I'll be along there in about 20 minutes-ish, plus or minus. So for a little hangout for a bit. So I'll see you guys there. Head on over. All right. Good night, guys. See you next time. <laughs> Bye for now.